Hello, this is Ms. Timmons from Provost Academy, Georgia, and in this video we are going to learn how to find the equation of a hyperbola with vertices 2, 3, 2, negative 3, and foci 2, 5, 2, negative 5. So it's going to be very important that you are familiar with the two standard forms of equations. And how I would like to start this problem is by listing everything that I know I will need in order to write the final equation. So I know at some point I'm going to need A, B, H, K, and even C to write the final equation. The first thing I would like to do is determine if this is going to be a horizontal transverse or a vertical transverse axis hyperbola. So what I'm going to do is look at the vertices and determine if H or K is being shifted. If you notice in both points, H has the same value, 2 and 2. So that lets you know immediately that H is not being shifted. It's going to be K. So we can eliminate the standard form of an equation for a hyperbola with a horizontal transverse axis. We definitely know it's going to be vertical since K is being shifted and not H. The next thing that I'm going to do is use the formula and use the given information to set up a system of equations where I can solve for both variables k and a. I'm going to solve this system by using the elimination method. So now that we know that k equals 0, we can go back and fill in, start filling in some of that information from the beginning. I can also use that k equals 0 to substitute it back into one of the equations from our system to solve for a. So I'll just use the equation in blue and have 0 plus a equals 3, which is very simple to figure out that a is now 3. Another thing I'd like you to notice since we're filling in information, in the beginning we looked at the vertices to determine which term was being shifted and we determined that H was not being shifted. We noticed that H was 2 for both points that we have. So that lets us know automatically there's really nothing to solve for, but we could have said that H equal 2 at the beginning of the problem. Now that we have a, h, and k, we have to find a way to solve for b and c. Using what's given, we were given the foci, so we're going to have to use those set of points to solve for c, and then we're going to go back and solve for b. So first, let's focus on solving for c. So here is the standard form, and now what I want to do is fill in the information that we have. We have H and K, so right now I'm just filling in H and K. Next, I just want to simplify that step to clean it up, so we know we have the points 2C, and we also have 2 negative C. Now we are at the point where we can go back and review our information that was given and we see that we have the point 2, 5 and the point 2, negative 5. So we can essentially set those points equal 
to what we had from the standard form. So instead of 2C, we now have 2, 5. And instead of 2, negative C, we now have 2, negative 5. So if we want to solve for C, what we can do here is just set up two equations. We see here C equals 5 and then the other set of points that negative C equals negative 5. So it's very clear that C is equal to 5. Now we can return to those points and plug in 5 for C. The only thing we have left to solve for now is B. And based on the information for a hyperbola, we know that C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. So this next step is going to be purely algebra. We have a value for C and we have a value for A. So the only thing that I'm going to do here is solve for B. We now have all the information that we need to write the standard form of the equation for this hyperbola. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation. And from here, we just plug in all the information that we have. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you write the standard form of a hyperbola given the vertices and the foci. Hope you learned something.